All right, so today we're going to be looking at the golf cart. Uh, the batteries are old. I think this was a 2013 model. All but certain that all the batteries, uh, except for one, which I had to replace one, one failed pretty epically. Um, so yeah, so all original batteries, and uh, they are just spent. And this thing's probably been down for a couple of months. I mean, it'll move under its own power, but it's not going very far. Certainly not very fast. Uh, so, the mission is today, we are going to take these lithium batteries and put them in place of those lead acid batteries. So, this should be fun. Hopefully it's not too bad. I tried to buy these batteries specifically to fit in this compartment. And uh, it looks like we need to give this thing a little TLC. So, maybe we can scrub these seats up, get some of these spots off of it. Uh, but you can see what we have in here now and you know, there's water coming out of one of the batteries. So yeah, typically not a great sign uh, But we're gonna rescue this thing get it back in order. We'll be good to go All right, so we've got the batteries out. You can see it's pretty dirty. It's what you get living on a dirt road. Got the, the motor, the speed controller, I guess, in, uh, in tow mode. So it's turned off, and there we can see the motor back there. Get the camera up. Honestly, looks like it's in fair shape other than, than being dirty. Um, so when I brought the batteries over here, they were just not wide enough to be able to fit in this tray. I think the battery is 10 and a half inches and, or the old lead acids were 10 and a half and these are closer to seven. So we're gonna have to come up with something to get them to stay in there. I think that'll be the biggest challenge. All right, so we don't want them to really to sit any higher. I'm gonna get the tape out and see. I think our little stabilizing brackets will be in our way uh, if we wanna to try to put these sideways. Then it just feels like a lot of wasted space if you have to do this. So, it's gonna be interesting to see how we get them in there. So I think I'll start with the tape. We'll figure out the uh, You know, suffice to say, I might be able to grind on that a little bit. Get it in there. That's really close. It'd be nice if we could get four, um, but even three deep would probably work. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I got to looking around in one of my project piles, and these were metal, just little metal strips that I had bought. Um, from Harbor Freight, it actually came as part of a table that I never put together. Um, but man, this is, it's strong, it's pretty lightweight. I think this is gonna go great right here, but obviously it's not cut to size. So I'll cut it down, I'll get the chop saw, cut it down. And then the other thing I have to do, as you can see that right here is that's the tab there that was put in to stabilize. So, you could technically get it in there, but it is really, really tight. So I think we've just got some dirt and debris and stuff like that uh, down in the corner. So um, I think maybe just a little Dremel tool might just clear it out. I, I'm not sure that I have to grind it out. It would be much more of a pain. So we'll see what we can do. I'll, I'll film that too. Famous last words. I definitely had to grind this out. Uh, so with no kind of plan here and really no model to run off of, um, this was one of those projects where I really just had to try a lot of different configurations. And you can see me there taking inaccurate measurements. Um, 
these batteries are not perfectly formed. Um, I would not, I don't know if I'd refer to them as deformed, but um, they may have been advertised as mostly new, and, and I guess that's what they were, but there may be a slight bulge to each one. So I measured the top, but the sides did not exactly line up. So uh, we did have a camera go power down during this, so I'm missing some of the footage, but suffice to say, I'm, I'm just getting in here to see if they'll all line up, and it is like really close but they just don't quite make it. Uh, so when I said I was not going to have to grind it or hoped I wouldn't have to grind it, uh, I was dead wrong. I should have never said it out loud uh, because I immediately had to grind off all four tabs. Uh, so that's above and below that bar. And uh, that part was not a whole lot of fun. It was just kind of a weird position. Uh, but what's cool is those steel bars uh, that we had for that table, they ended up working perfectly. Uh, so I was able to put some locking nuts on there and get those guys in the right place. And they, they've been very sturdy. Um, I, in one of the videos I did, I tried to bend it, but it didn't it didn't really fit in the sequence. So I didn't show it, but these things are really tough. So at any rate, got this part done. Uh, was very happy with the way this came out. And uh, really the only thing left to do is to go and build a, a top bracket. Uh, to keep these batteries in place should we hit a, a big bump going real fast. Okay, so here is the battery pack as it stands right now. Uh, haven't got anything connected yet. Spent some time putting the BMS together so we can go ahead and wire it up. I'm going to get close in here and hopefully the camera will adjust. But you can see I, I ripped a piece of board and it really compression fit these, these batteries in really well. So haven't done the back ones yet, just the first ones, just the first row, and so, uh, man, so far so good. You know, we'll get the uh, get the BMS installed, and I, I think we might be doing something. The, the only question I have is I don't, I don't have a ground block to distribute the load, right, and the charger to go through the BMS, but I'll figure out something short term, and this will be one of those situations, do as I do, not as I say. No. Do as I say, not as I do. Long day, man. It really had been a long day. I look back at the footage uh, that I took of this, and it was over the course of seven hours. I don't think I was standing over the golf cart for the entire time. Uh, I finally proved a little bit of wisdom and went inside and <laughs> did all these wire crimps uh, in the AC. Uh, it's Texas, and it's May, so it, it did get a little warm that day. But this ended up working well. Uh, it didn't work at first, but in the end, uh, this BMS turned out to be stellar. Okay, we got everything connected, but I did have to bypass the BMS. It would not kick on. And I read that maybe I have to feed it some voltage. Um, that may be true. I don't have any way to feed it voltage. The battery pack is too charged to accept a charge from my 48 volt golf cart charger. So I am going to just drive this thing a little bit, try to get the voltage down, and then we'll we'll run through the BMS. I do not recommend running it without a BMS. Okay, so it is a few days later. Um, we did end up getting the BMS to work. Uh, so I think there's some critical details I want to share to kind of summarize the video. There was a couple of wires that we had uh, coming in here. I didn't really know what they went to. And it's something to do with the charging system. Uh, in fact, I can go ahead and pull these wires because they're not in use at all. Um, but the charger that we bought doesn't really care about those wires and it picks up the voltage anyway. Sometimes that onboard computer can tell the, the charger when to kick on and off. So there's our BMS. We do need to find a better way to mount it um, as it's not really mounted at all. It's just kind of set in there. Um, and we did have to get a 300 amp DC breaker, which I strongly recommend. Uh, this thing going uphill, we pulled 140 amp at one point. Um, but yeah, so, so all we had to do, I ran the batteries down just a little bit and then I stuck the charger on there and as soon as it sensed the, the amperage coming in, 
uh, was able to kick on and yeah, we've really not had any trouble out of it since it's a pretty cool little interface that goes with it if i can find some time to do some screen recording i'll show you what that interface looks like uh, but it's bluetooth uh, there's the little bluetooth dongle there hiding out uh, but anyway this thing rocks and rolls out maybe i'll get the key and kind of prove that it moves but uh, it's been great to have the golf cart back this thing probably has a 30 mile range on it at this point anyway hope you guys enjoyed this this took me forever uh do some planning first i didn't i kind of just jumped right in uh but pretty cool I, i'm pretty happy how this worked out got a few little finishing touches to put on it um but yeah hopefully this thing lasts for a while and the battery balancer by the way is or the bms is working great If you guys enjoyed this video, give us a like, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.